you, you're kind of both going along the same road, and then you beat All right, who you Team Heretics the on defense, K Corp on attack. At Frenzy, exactly man. Frenzies are coming out. The team they lost to along the way. Knife goes in. I knew he wasn't a Jedi all along. Yeah, just, a, just a straight. On the defensive side, this is going to be a big test. KC, we know that they're going to be pretty Is this, is this just not the same as the uh, Sentinels? Some results that are all that they do for their We're pistol? Wait, what? Trades, but team <laughs> <Heretics> <laughs> started off with a shock and a boombot trade. Push through mid from KC has not worked, but they've managed to thread the needle with Magnum and potentially. We'll have a timing later on in the round. I mean, it, it's all about his pathing on that site and his teammates making some noise potentially around middle to distract, but they've not. They've VCT scripted? Nah, bro. Site, looking just to take advantage of the space, the man disadvantage is still lingering over their heads. It's but for a second, like, just like whoever puts the most time in, mate. But isn't going to be able to find those shots. Spike will be planted. A couple of players rotating in as well. I'm more looking at Mini boot. He's always the one to take the space for the team. A little bit of support. They also have a fragment to try and clear this close angle up. But they got to be yeah, the trip, the man. The attack trip. I like that people have been doing the, the attack trip more. They've still got a little bit more work to do. Magnum super low. Nice from Patty. The wall bang to eliminate him. But Tamazi taking the brunt of the damage. That's a defuse for Team Heretics. A first round in the bag. Yeah, and a big round, another one coming out of Paratek. I, I sort of was bringing this conversation up earlier, but where, where does he rank for you in terms of the, the standings that we've seen? Because we've had a lot of insane standings throughout the entirety Over the of the VCT. Oh, but yeah. I, they, <laughs> I mean, talk about CGRS. I, I, I mean, like that's a big CGRS, CGRS Patrick, will never be beaten, I don't think, but Patty's going to be second. International event delivered on a level we couldn't imagine, but for Team Heretics, I, I, I think that's I think he's second. what is looking as if they don't have a standard they're playing and so and well, he and could uh if he if they win madrid he's number one as a roster i don't easy. know like Patatek easy in my mind wouldn't come in and deliver a top level performance he'd be good but he's been great in this so, i think also he'd be good a, in dude everyone has their own has, little yes, yes, little yes, way of approaching this at the moment you get double double specter two I'm rifles really one person that can go down very aggressive move for martin he's actually going to come up with a double the shorty combining with the specter he found somehow made this round look competitive and again it's looking like they've got a good opportunity to get in onto the site the dizzy is going to make it so that they have to fall back and all play from the same position yeah they try and go for the attack trip, trip again still done pretty good damage on this pick up one of the guns oh that star no oh whoa wait what with a what? classic to do it all, and somehow he's done it. Damn. KC will not let this one slip. That Come is one -one. that is wild. So one of the things I wanted to highlight. I, dude, how did you get that kill with the stun as well? And then Shim with a classic, they were doing so really much damage. Strong defensive side. And I think that's away from the norm when you look at, like, for example, Bro, teams like Vitality who were playing this match to a high level. They were so good. On the, attack. the victory that we saw against Na'Vi was an 8-4 defensive half coming out from the side. And they still lose six And on the other side, every single like it was looking the so good, bro. has been eight plus rounds on the defense. So both proving that for these two teams, it should lean in the Okay, one person that, uh, one person that, that had the is very different to what we see from ghost can just buy up on this one. Money's now real good. I say it's, I say it's real good. It's only real good on one, because they managed to get the upgrade. Really, really difficult to play against, especially with the utility and just raw Was it not a 2v3 in that one as well? And there's some players to fall back on. Big there. impact from Shin. Really impressive seeing the depth that KC can bring to the table. For Team Heretics as well, though, it's that combination. You're yeah, I think, I think that HUD's confused production there. HUD was ahead and then it confused, insane, confused production and kind of missed the go. working on his just solo side holds were nuts. On this map in particular, I recall multiple rounds where they would go out on B and he would pick up three. Yeah. Make it look very easy. Get out of there with mostly full HP as well. So mini boo with the hit hero gun, maybe playing a bit too passive, to be honest, in terms of like a hero gun. We'll we see. Recon goes in, clears over towards B, and they are gonna at least have a lot of people here for the retake. Maybe early flood. Omen doesn't have a flash. They might be stuck looking for a retake on the A side here. There's not very many favorable fights they can take. Yeah, a lot of teams in this sort of position might even opt to just try and play some exits, do some damage, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. Mini Boo already Potential gun, over. man. Makes this round Boo had to be, um, I think Boo had to wait for his smokes, to be honest. 
unwinding. And I think that. It's mostly going the yeah, way. Yeah, because because imagine imagine he managed to smoke this box afterwards. Yeah, a little, little bit of uh, could have been a little bit better. Obviously, good damage, like really good damage. Don't get me wrong, but I think that, that could have been better. Was saved from the previous round anyway, or at least what Shin had. So they still have the finances to play with. Yeah, there's only going to be one or two players who start to reach the lower end of the credit spectrum. I think all in all, they can be pretty happy, especially with the dueling power we've seen on the other side. Heretics certainly putting up a fight, but they've lost that lead now. It's in the hands of KC, two in a row. Rifles out, thrash online for this KC squad. So a big danger. Do you think Paddy takes the defensive play side, the split if they win Madrid? Nah, no. I, I honestly think even if they win Madrid, they, they stick to their normal. Uh, <laughs> damn. I think they stick to their, stick to Woot. I think they, I think they just believe in the whole team, man. On a suicide mission, we saw him do this the last time they played the map, and it was a yeah, disaster. And this was a lot so better than earlier. So, so yeah, when we did this earlier, I think it, it was against did who did we see? It was against um, at the moment, all he's doing is Navi, right? And Aldis was anti-flash for it, but man. a fantastic supportive flash out of Paditech. again. These yeah. are the sort of plays that I'm talking about. Putting that utility in place. Normally, you see those assists coming through because they're in a KO. Now. They were not no, expect. They just weren't expecting it for their first the buy. And honestly, this whole comp is like really aggro on defense. It's a lot of, it's literally a lot of flash, like slide plays. For a few extra credits, it's not a pretty scenario. And in fact, with 45 seconds left on the clock, they might actually just save. We'll see if they're going to go rotating around. It seems like they put a smoke down onto B, maybe just to sell a ruse, but I don't think they're playing this round anymore. Wait, we actually saving this? Oh my God, it's a, it's a freebie. Devastating blow. Get the free thousands out. It's a freebie. And like you said, Tom, right? You have that flash. Wait, this is a, this is a higher cam than normal. It's left the whole squad blind. I you mean, can still see it early, but like candles on a birthday cake. They didn't stand a chance. I thought Ryan was back in the studio, but for KC, they're not left in the best position. Their economy, like we said, there's two players who is don't. Is server good on this map? Yeah, it's rifles. it's not bad. We'll give them a lot to work with, and I think they can. It normally um, stars that it has to have another. Anti, didn't go for any it has to have another initiator with it. Heretics could easily take these weapons out of their hands. But as that time goes all the way over, you can see two to two. Two weapons recovered. A full buy possible for KC. They're not letting it slip just yet. And like we said, they have got some ultis. And look at that. The pop is oh, hey, nice replay. The slide around. It's a lovely it's replay. This is what we. Boy. This is the stuff that we want to see. We, we can the little flash the in there as well to set it up. A lot of them are going to be mini boo. I'll be honest with you. I think he's number one on like ACS ADR. He's even number one on clutch percentage, which yeah. considering his entry fragging is ridiculous. He's number one on first kills. And actually has a really good ratio with his first deaths, which is absurd. Okay, and then this one, we well, do a one similar thing. Camera spots, legs, flash goes he in, and we double initiator. swing. He's number three on ADR. Same flash is looking ACS. ready. Silv's building it up for us. We can talk about it. Number three, Paditech. Oh, now been fantastic, what? consistent all the way through. I think yeah, now what? Now they have to just... And then you just throw a knife, maybe? <laughs> also, it only counted two games. Whereas, uh, well, the Heretics have played one more. Casey have played a lot more games. Yeah, they had Ooh, this is this is a little bit. I, I think they're forcing this one too much. Ooh, I love the stun off on it though. Rough for Magnum, but they don't know he's there. They haven't cleared it. He's oh, okay. I, I tell you what, I take it all back. This little stun to make this one happen, and then we get the all out so we can see. Then we can early rotate, take middle for free. Shocks can come in. Oh man, this team is. This team's got some good stuff. Slow them down. As we can see, the rotates have taken place. Paditech now in position. As well as Boo. Oh my God, they just. Two quick kills, paranoia through, Rien's picks up one in the chaos. Yeah, they just jump through. It's really good, really good util from uh, Heretics here. I love that they had I love that they had a punish with the cipher close to use the ult as well. Kind of just forced them to uh, make a play. And then there's so much uh one of these players on the other side. There was just so much info. info. Secondly, this initial fight. There's Boo as well, just to support. Like, there's never an easy battle, and I, I think that's a lot of what you need on this attack inside is you yep. see teams trying to isolate the jewel. You're going to watch it from Mini Boo just sliding into angles in the next half. Like, those early fights are so important for the attack side. And when you the title, the T inside T, yes, okay. You can't really expect KC to come out on top. Now, this round's a little bit more interesting because, Mitch, although the finances suck, 
there's still opportunities here for KC because of the ults. Yeah, that's the main thing, right? A Thrash finding its mark here, Martine's going to be on you immediately. I, I mean, Ooh, I'm enjoying what's happening with Heretics as well because this the smokes are just really, really important, right? When we look over towards here and just work out like what can go through the smokes, like it's not too much. Damn, bro. His IGL. Go on, just go no for it. You shouldn't, but go for it. Has been realized, but still some remains. Martin and Narrate, those two powerful ults, not likely to be used. But they have got rifles. Still, though, his brother trades it. Though, avenges his brother and leaves Narrate with 45 HP and four opponents to take down. Uh oh. Yeah, let's see how much damage he can do as well. Because on Heretics' money is so good. But extra few kills, maybe? No. Like okay, nice done. Uh, yeah, what I was going back to is like when when these smokes come up, they don't actually have too much to force it like force through itself. The comp that uh, K Corp have is like heavy, heavy defense sided. I've got one. You can do that, but they've been so impressive throughout this tournament. Like they've been leading the charts. Yeah, I can I can change that now maybe. The fact that Boo has gone from a player last year, where you're talking about someone that. We, we weren't even sure if he'd be around. Like, with, with how poorly yep. Heretics did, they invested in him again, and it was worth it. He's been And they decide to do the flash push over the towards A, flash goes in, knife yeah, afterwards, along. and they set Maybe up mini boo over there. towards A. I save flash, this time it was with a knife, so they are changing Narrate's stuff up. They don't want it to be too readable. Insta hit over towards B. There is five people in this box already. Oh man. Damn, Insta KO all cancels it. Oh my, I mean, they're just here so fast. They did not want to let them plant on this. Yeah, they'd seen way too many after plants over towards B main. That KO ult was clutch as hell. compliments from Benji Fishy about their retake on the other side. It wasn't even a retake. They actually stopped their opponents before they could get in. And they've done it again. This is looking devastating for KC. Yeah, a, a pause as well. Because of all the maps that we've got sort of coming up, this is the one where you look at them to be most favored in this series. Like, it is... Obviously, they, they had a troublesome time last time out when they played versus Heretics in general. They got absolutely destroyed. But on this map, at least, you're looking at a 13-4 versus Koi, a 13-8 Dude, Heretics are kind of scary. Versus Foot. At least two of those you consider to be big names. The other one, well, they got a new team. We'll give them a little bit of a break. But the, the fact is... But again, I, I, I would say the K-Corp need like four rounds. Maybe maybe you would say like five, six, depending on uh, the fact that they've kind of shown their hand in terms of how how they want to play, like a uh, macro on their defense, where they just play like heavy mid and then they want to retake. So that might come to bite them a little bit. So maybe they need a few more rounds because they've kind of shown that. The next round, or maybe the next buy round, normally goes pretty well for the side of KC. Bro checks his camera yeah, after. Staff. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it's not just the vibe of the players down on the stage. We saw this coaching cam, and it's rare to see Weber and Neil Zinho giving it like this. In fact, I'm request, can we get a replay? <laughs> They're flaming them, man. Because I've seen at least three rounds where they've just been. Yeah, it's so funny. All I'm going to say is. You better make sure you win this map, guys, because yeah, when you give it, <laughs> when you're giving it as much as that. <laughs> but to be fair, it's they, they it's together. They're hoping for they no replay. For oh, well. Last bullet hits that. Okay, so they have a timeout. Probably talking about the fact that they're fast flooding over towards here. It is a round where they've got a lot of SMGs to work with. You would probably expect more mid pressure, top mid pressure for sure. Like I would expect way more pressure here if I was Heretics off this timeout. Maybe it happens next buy round. We'll see. Recon goes in again, clears all the B main, and they heavy rotate. Bro, they kind of just this recon. I mean, it's the second round now, but. Like, uh, for, for they the they get smart. early info, yeah, dude. Right now, question mark here, question mark here. Insta cleared, three people here. Paranoia though is already gonna find them that opener. Martin with the first kill, and with these stingers up close, you do have to be a little bit more careful if you're on the Harrison yeah, side. Yeah, maybe, above. maybe they're on for this, this one. These attack trips come in again. Players. That might be good for one, to be honest. Not gonna hear that from oh, here. Viper goes in. I love this TP. 
Damn, imagine he spams exactly he below him. There is someone directly below him. It's a tough decision oh. here. I mean, he is really playing oh. blind in this, but that reveal certainly helped him out. It's only Martin down. Yeah, smoke comes in. He still so, has his flash, so but dangerous. the flash down is not great. Fin that hit, Gecko. At one point, he has to jump in. The trip. The trip. The trip was too good. Okay, nice after plant from them. This uh, every time they're saving a trip over towards site, it's doing them doing a lot of work. After the pauses, their win rate seems to go up, and well, they found a win. I also said, be careful with the laughing. It's true. It's true. Lesson yeah, and this learned. this might be one the of the rounds. Of I said we were needing like four, or five. He turns. He popped his abilities, trying to. Speed Wasn't expecting his way to win a fifty. There, there was no fast lane for him, unfortunately. Let's go, on the highway to hell. Nice. Five Let's to three. As you can see, Anger's ecstatic. Panzer, you want to come? Yeah, As he's come. Ever been. That's the happiest he's ever been. Him, him and Nats were a match made in heaven, obviously. Come on over. <laughs> Nonetheless, it's put Casey back on the map, but now they go back to this slower style of play. Like You have to bear in mind, a lot of that was around an explosive start to the round where normally you'd had quite aggressive positions from Heretics, as they do now, but that round they were playing passive because they were up against an eco, and then the Viper's Pit, which of course is not online anymore. The only thing available is that from the Shadows, which for most people... Dude, look mystic, at this camera in the middle, just spinning either. around, trying to get info the whole time. Rotational ultimate a lot of the time. A very slow approach from KC. You see a rotation in from Nare and not having a trap inside B main. They've got to be worried about anybody having pushed up, but with the spike being on A, it's a weird one. I think they're faking A. Paranoia used, Martin creeps up, makes some noise, and then they start to step back. We can see the rotate. Just take a look up towards the spot. Got the lurker towards mid. Has, he gets spotted by the cam. Dude, no gun out for that? How is he so confident? Oh, that might work well. Oh, man, nothing is going right for this. That flash was perfect. Again, the rate's utility is on point, unfortunately. I thought he was good too for two. Fish. Not able to hit the target. Also, other than Benji, the players, at least most of them are healthy. Trying to get this back into a winnable position is not going to be easy. And now the stun's going through. Counter flash is excellent. <laughs> hey, the flash is good, so though. Blind. And now, while well, it's going to be the leading of the charge from Minibu, so much damage being done, leaving just Tomazzi to try and Yeah, nicely done on this one. Honestly, the cake in the 3v5 made that, that doable. Those kills are different in market. And heretics are going to double up once again. Oh, I think Uli's happy. Bro, that looked... Oh, far. man. How is he so sure? Actually filled in How is he so that sure that someone is... Uh, it's backfired that no one bit. was holding that? On the side of KC. Immediate answer back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who knows what he said there. What do you, th what do you think, Tom? Any ideas? Cleft yeah. flipping go. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Or maybe it was fudging. I don't know. It, could, one, be. One of them. it could be. I think... Yeah, we'll, we'll have to start a Twitch poll. 50-50. There's no other option. No, no third option. Flash this time for the swing. <laughs> and we don't want your yeah, and, and they went a long time without showing this. Again, they, uh, they used like a knife to do this bad earlier bad without the flash, but... Oh, for sure, KCOP has watched off. this one. They know what this means. Slow and steady start, but they're, they're chipping away at this. The defense is looking decent. Nine rounds still possible at the half. And KC have weaker weapons. So this round win looking likely for the defense. But this is where KC have been able to pull out some of those wins one of them most recently the attack they have been very patient they've tried to push and pull this map and bait heretics into over rotations but i think heretics have been decently patient i wonder how much of that is mini boo being able to okay he goes close and he guys. sees a trip it's also just they're really confident in two hero guns like, still more than happy and we're kind of just playing retake over towards b because he's Wait, they're, good they're doing a good the they're doing a good move on this eco that, that might have been too much <laughs> The support and then ready I, the I take it back. Why did they go before the market guy is activated? Oh, man. Okay, I'll take the blame for that one. But I, I really thought with, with the info that they had worked out, that they would have been heavier, heavier play over towards market. Then they break the trip or like break the trip. Then market goes, then they can hit site. But it was send it in. <laughs> No one broke the trip. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been better. It was an eco. It's fine. 
B site have just not been working out for them. No, I mean, there's a couple of things not working out for them right now, but I, I actually really like that approach to the round. I think they did a good job, again, running that clock down, spreading it, spreading the cover. Is this both? Once they move in towards Marcus, is this both their time timeouts? near perfect. The eyes are on B main, the execute's coming in. It does normally mean that they're very confident in their defense, which I think they are. Angle. They're ready for the fight. But the timing, it, it, they're so aware. It's like a clock starts ticking in their head the second they look away from an angle. Okay, we have five seconds. Oh, Weber's getting involved. There. They turn, Again, new it's, update. It's the right assistant coach time. can now speak as well. So, because this is exactly what we came into this map highlighting. Eng said that he gave uh, Zaysh um, basically a whole map to, with, to just be able to give him experience. Him We've and we see him Weber, see him Weber get involved on this one as well. Traps using nades and everything like this, but. It's just not it is a it's a big change. It's a really fights, big change. Always has the backup, and he's getting ahead ten and five right now. As he really sentinel. buffs the so um, the, the assistant coach spot, in my view. You can definitely give a lot of credit towards him. Obviously, mini boos aggression as well has just been out of this world. Patatech I definitely think like the the four some coach tonight, the four coach thing could work in terms of like each coach has an oh, assistant and kind of focus on maps more. Like you could you could split up this four of you two two take one map two take another map if you don't have much time. Could work well. So that was my plan ages ago, but, been high, but honestly, right that was my plan down after uh, Liquid. Heretics. I wanted to try and make that work in terms of four, four coaches, but might be able to help them out then you guys came along. But the fact is, it's mostly been Fischl. those more explosive plays that have actually worked out for them. Look at the four we go, we go damn, bro, we, oh my Rashid goodness. Taken, Double stun, over, Omen smoke, well, recon sure deep. And they take the four of this, and we have two ki kill trips, and we forced them into the Sova ult, and the Sova ult has hit two, and they have just jumped. They, they, they need to relax on their reactive hits, man. They're just, they're just jumping into traps. Like the Sova ult hit one each as well. We have a shock dart taking Shin down. They get a plant, and then they just get caught trying to go back. Maybe this is doable. Damage already thrown out a snake bite. It will slow them slightly. We're not going to see it used for the later round. The block off this control, of course, not having the orb and not having any life left. It's even more in the way. Magnum, the last man standing, one v three, and we saw Heretics win from this position many times. Yeah. Smoke to spam through. And I, slightly better I, I don't know if it's because of the shock darts, but they're not Heretics planning over towards stairs anymore. And, and I think it might be because of the shock darts. And, and so it's been prepared. melting them there. I've been singing his praises Maybe that's one of the better things for the server as well, to be honest. Shock darts that go towards like deep stairs. You see with this plant, like it, it gives them too much space. But I think the shocks are landing like in the middle of stairs, so they're kind of forced to. A potential for a 9-3 half. Let's see what sort of response there can be. Obviously, the pause is already being utilized by the side of KC. So <laughs> I think they need to stop being so reactive. I think they need to use top middle as well. Three. Stage, you had to try and have a, a chat Three is doable if they win a pistol, but. And it's so different, and again, within seconds. Yeah, and, 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 second mark, and, and on top of it, so they killed Duelist, and on top of it, they have, it's like playing, they have uh, the Dizzy. Side up and then and we didn't so have much money, so we didn't buy Wingman. Does the drone check him? Bro's just hopping around. Dodgeball being played out. He's just so hard to hit. And he hits hard. Eight to three, one round left, and a man advantage towards the defensive side of Heretics. Pressure is on. This is a, again, this is a solid cam. That's a really solid cam. No matter what, you can always see their feet as they cross um, through like this angle. Trips. Looks real similar to the one on the split, to be honest. And everyone goes here heavy, and no one really wants to push through this because of the smokes. Bro, they have so much, man. Heretics have so much stuff. From the side of Heretics, but Rient has been caught. Again, <laughs> Neil yesterday said they showed not even 20% of their stuff, and I think we're starting to see it. Like, I'm seeing new stuff on pretty much, well, not every other round, but at least, at least like three, three, four new things. I don't even know what they can hope to find. It needs to be a miracle shot, and it isn't going to happen. Shin now with Okay, there is, a, there is a ward where three is enough. Straight, straight up, there is a world. They got to win pistol, but the retake, their defense looks really good. It is like a comp that is made for defense. This is their map pick somewhere they've looked good before. Lotus up next, and 
the devastation that's raining on this side for Heretics. It's coming from What's the, the advantage of teams winning this? Boot, Three champs points. Down, so you only get champs points for winning kickoff, for this squad. winning the Madrid, well, uh, beating Maybe people in stage half. one and Out stage of the two of the split. So there isn't too many. Winning playoffs or not? I can't remember if the, you get them for the playoffs in stage one or stage two or split one or split two. I can't remember what the hell they're calling it. Basically, three points. You give yourself a bit of a safety net for potentially uh, getting champs. Overly ready at this stage, just blitzing through tier one opposition. You almost think there must it sets you up real good. Right now. What the hell? It sets you up real year. good for the um, and now, well, he's probably run right for the start of the season. Teams. I think we've seen that a number of times right throughout Valorant's history, but it was a little more on the nose. Here. <laughs> Do you know if teams can hear the co yeah teams can hear the teams? Sorry, coaches can hear the teams. Obviously, the teams can hear the teams. Um, coaches can hear the team. That's why uh, Eng called a co uh, called a timeout at 11:08 yesterday because uh, he heard a call and he didn't. He thought it could be better. So he kind of overcalled the caller. He ran in to make sure he could trade out his teammate at the very worst. See if that health ends up playing into it later. As some of it was the decay, so he's 74 after that fades away. It's not too bad. It's workable. He's being chipped away, and that final fight for him seems to be coming pretty soon. He's going to have to scrap on the side, and Martin's quick to take him. Okay, oi, 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 oi. I'm in for this. I'm telling you, this is on. I'm in for this. Yeah. Let's see how really Heretics do this, because K-Corp's retake win rate is outrageous, so like high 70s, I think. A of times, Maybe even 80 defense, on this so map. They, they've definitely proven that they can do it. One enemy, one enemy. Nine to four. There's still a long way to go to get themselves back into this game, and with, as said, the, how fearsome Mini Boo has been. You expect him to at least steal a round away. Maybe not this one. He's only going to be left with a classic. What the hell is this knife? Benji, the only one to invest into anything here. And that's mainly just the extra credits he earned from the, the last round. Lay A lands at the top, hits all the way over towards side. It's kind of sick. A numbers advantage is going to be pressed. Kind of get info if anyone's set up at this angle. It's pretty useful. Paranoia has caught him. He's out of there at least. Body blocked a little, but it's okay. They're safe. Yeah, and that stopped this one heavy, and now they kind of have to just go for Magnum. Oh my, the recovery. He was about to have a teammate come around the corner, but Damazi late to the party, and Magnum's already shut off the music. Nice and easy for KC. Cleaned up in an Andalusia flawless 9-5. to They're on the road to recovery for sure. Yeah. But here come the guns for Heretics. I was going to say, this is going to be the big interesting one, because this is where we get to see if uh, Heretics, the Heretics side, I'm always happy to next see two rounds at least, if Heretics kind of have like a good idea of how they want to play against this. Oh my. Because that was the plan there, to try and use a couple of extra flashes on Padatek and use Boo's Paranoia for the same. There was a world where they catch a couple of players there. And K-Corp decide to go aggro on this. I think that's good. They're mixing it up. It's something that I said that I think they should be doing. Now is where things get interesting. Now, bear in mind, their weaponry is a bit weaker, so they're going to try and go aggressive. The flash is They do lose the smoker, though. That one didn't pay off too well. Knife goes in over towards side, hits no... I like this knife. He Does he lay knife this to see if anyone's back at sight? It might have been the one that he threw up earlier and it just landed late. Mainly focused on mid there as well. Still got a trip for them for to get a kill off. Still got a guy watching like it's deep workable, flank. But we've seen this retake before. It's just the fact that we don't have a lot of the util for it. They need to keep numbers in favor when fighting. A close range makes it even better. A Good shot that after this. From mini boot. Perhaps the idea being he's got the, <laughs> the camera's still up. Now, it's a little bit awkward. Thought we were going to have a free kill. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nade forced him out into the open. This one's getting a little bit close. No matter what, it's good damage. Okay, nicely handled from Benji here. It will be the round taken Still, the I feel like K-Corp did really good damage. The amount of damage done with what was Bulldogs and a few SMGs. True, true. It could definitely open the door for, to cause problems further down the line for the Heretic squad. KC full buy up and in prime position, but they're in 10 5 down. This would be a flawless couple of rounds. Yeah, like you see that player fighting inside, right? The All right. Flash catches now, him, now the big round. 
Now the big grounds. We either get a really close game or probably Heretics have run away with it. But Heretics, as you said, they had a slightly shorter route, but without dropping a map, they've made it here. And here we got three people. One, two, three, the comp by over towards here. One, two, three. Casey are putting all their credits into this shirt. done previously. But this is Heretic's chance to put their foot down. What? Yeah. Showcase out of the series. Damn, bro. <laughs> and that is a big person to lose. Normally, normally on this, they just play to full back. And I don't know if he was trying to enable his team to flood in. I mean, he just got shot for a wall. I can't even be too mad at it. They get a good plant towards the stairs. Two people fighting over towards site. Oh, man. Again, these spam shots just seem yeah, to be the, the spam so shots are insane. The retakes have been good, but this might be too much. Maybe Smoke and Wingman. Smoke, Wingman, Omen Flash. Let's see if they can time this well. Dude, and they actually kind of didn't want to give them too much time on that. Yeah, and this the Smoke I was talking about, you kind of smoke yourself off when it's a good plan like this. He's gonna hold it close inside the smoke. He's got the first. That's the third One bullet. The round and a oh man, Batty was on it. He even killed Wigman during that. I'm pretty sure as well. That was close. Real, real close. And I think that probably decides it. Like we would have to see an absolute mad game. Oh boy. One to zero on their opponent's map pick. Yeah, I think that comes down to just the last bullet. A little bit unlucky. Yeah, I mean, he had to hit the last bullet. I also feel like Patty did so good when, when he started realizing that, that they were going to tap the spike and that he needed to fight, or they were, like, planning what they were going to do, right? They were talking about smoking, then omen flashing, etc. He just he just decides to flash on them, and then they swing. That was really good. Well, K got force into it. Yeah, I mean, they... Gonna know Makes that sense. This one right. They do not have good guns. They don't have much. Official though, maybe. Everybody's waiting. No one wants to make that first move for KC. They've got the numbers here, right? You just hope that heretics burst through. The control across the map. Has Harbor been used on this map? Market. There's no need don't to think so. Put most of their I feel like I watched basket. one at one point, but it might have been like. Uh, no, Might have been the evolution in China. The right Damn, dude, they this guy is so Martin, the first to find a kill and clean onto Benji Fishy. Damage done onto Pooh. Nice the trade. Only one before the trade comes through. This is looking nasty. He was Pooh tempted to all. Oh, dude, ultimate, he does. He will. Into spawn. spawn. They've heard him. They're close enough. Into spawn, spawn and then they pinch spawn and they try to get B. The yeah, there is. Dangerous. It's being watched by so many of what a weird round. You still have Martin and Magnum holding strong and keeping Patatek back. And the crossover for Boo, he might think he's got the sight, but actually, there's someone here waiting for him. The rotate's already come in from Shin. The angle's a little off. Couple seconds left, and he's gone. Yeah, it. lovely. Smoke, sure what's up for the... Okay, there we go. So far away, Patatek doesn't stand a chance. Knife out. He's running, he's running, but he'll never Yeah, get it's not that much of a plan for him. Wow. Nicely done from K-Corp. They got some gun upgrades as well. Lose an extra gun. Lose an extra upgrade on this. Actually, does matter. Straight up, does matter. Coming out from them to have that initial stack up and... It just becomes a little bit panicky. I, I don't oh my god, that's what happened there? I that'll be a position where they could sort of pinch to the players if they try and rotate. Dude is fearless, I'm telling you. Time. Like, eventually it got to a point where Boo had to try and move and Shin was just waiting for a player to go for the plant. Heretics, even though it's only, what, the first buying round that we've actually seen go in their opponent's favor, they're going to take an early pause. Finance is definitely a little bit on the brink for them and if they're going to try and risk it and do some damage here, they're going to want to have a talk with the coach. Well, the smile's no longer on the faces of the Heretics coaching staff, but they don't need to feel too tense just yet. A five-round lead that can quickly slip away from you in a game like Valorant. A couple mistakes, and Casey are right back on you. But for Heretics on this attack side, you have to think that round is coming. Mini Boo's been a little bit quiet. They've shut him down a couple of times in the last few rounds, and eventually, he will find those, uh, find his mark. He'll show up. I have to say, Rianz as well. I feel like when he's put 
back against the wall into a corner, he's able to punch out and, and at least take two down with him a lot of the time. Been having some really good rounds, I think, especially with Benji on B on the defensive side. It's been very impressive to watch. So much more needed from this squad. A couple seconds left before we get into the thick okay, of it. Okay, Hero Gump for KC's for Patty. Thrash. Like we saw, it didn't go down so in that last round. Fischl, still low money for K-Corp. Still one away from it going to, into a disaster round. Shock Dart. What the hell? We're going to follow this all the way? I mean, we're going if through the roof. The map, I'm laugh so hard. <laughs> we just follow it the whole way. It's good. It's good. Great. It's, it's not too bad, though. Well, it's, the it's, it's, there. it's for the camera that. that's here, though. <laughs> it's, it's just it more was, good from K-Corp. Really cool. Unfortunately, it's not. Yeah. So yeah, K I mean, K-Corp just change up their camera. That <laughs> that's right. that's oh, right. They've missed their shot, though. How'd you know? I saw it. Another it kill trip on the site. And... But Shin again, he's going to have his head screwed on. Oh, whoa. Jesus. Yeah, they were so focused on getting the spike down, going to B main. Now spraying through smoke, Rians is down. And this heretic's hold. Plant in that same position. Everyone tunnel vision so heavy. Damn, Damn nice shots though. What the hell? One. Mini Boo hits a few shots, but not enough. Nice. And three survive. Yeah. Again, weaponry weak, but that was still a scenario where you felt like there was an opportunity once they got into the post plant. Until a second later, Shin peeks into the When is stage team one? Is it in the so first split? Maybe um, a few slip ups here and there. End of March. Well, no. Beginning of May? I think middle of May? Retreat. It's unfortunate as well or April. I can't even remember these days. April. Rifle, so, although it drops into somebody else's let's hands, think. if he's facing the right way. Let's go. Come back. Let's actually go. Madrid ends on like the 24th or 22nd. So Starting yeah, to it would have to be beginning of April. Like first week of April, maybe second. Casey on their defense. Series versus other team has been nothing. It's a wild or it could be last That's week in March, but that would be pure available. madness. Over what the Brian hell is this? Mini Shocked up for another... More importantly, <laughs> Which one? Oh, is this the same one? <laughs> online with that orb taken and the Hunter's this is it. <laughs> don't, don't do it again, okay. You can easily he see was tempted. A little bit He's tempted to follow it again. Round. It looks like though they might be opting to try and challenge into middle. That's where the majority are going at the moment. Yeah, they're just waiting for the shock to hit though. Shock goes in, doesn't hit. This guy's pinging it out, saying they're trying to shock the cam again. Casey have got some this is, and this is the good thing about these teams. Like they know they're going to get anti. They know that they're going to put their time into something like this. That they just mix up their camera. They pretty much use this almost every round that we saw last time they played. Uh, in terms of like the one that spots feet over towards here is kind of essential to a lot of how they played. And it's a good change up from K Corp. This is, this is the kind of stuff that you got to do. Gotta be changing it up, Lord. Straight into A. A ult goes in and it is a fake B. What is the rotate like? There is no rotate. Yeah, there is no rotate. The camera's to spot only KO. The camera's just looking at solo KO, just like, well. Tell you what, though. 15 seconds to get this plant. Is Shin to spam this? Oh! Damn. Nicely done from K-Corp. I'm telling you, man. It might be on. It was a nice idea from Heretics. Like, like if, if they actually took out this camera and they didn't realize it was there, then, then they kind of do it. But the fact that K-Corp have looked into the fact they used this camera so much, realize it's going to get anti, change it up, literally saves them this round. Four people on site, Ali. They have everybody sat there nice. waiting. And obviously, Paditek's just a little bit too far behind to really have much impact nice. in the round. Let's go, boys. The concept good, but unfortunately for Heretics, it looks like a blunder from afar. Wow, well, that streak of rounds really starting yeah, to Yeah, now they're eco. Financially a good spot, ultimate points in a great spot. One off of Viper's Pit, Showstopper, Thrash online already. And unfortunately for Heretics, they're back down to the pistols. A lot of weaknesses in this round. Really nice to see KC playing the, the big brain version of Valorant. Cypher other side, bait out that ultimate from Padatech. Round falls to pieces. Now that's a good adaptation, a good read. But there's plenty more to be seen. Again, that shock dart thrown through. And again, the camera yeah, this new cam, this new cam though. Times, this new cam. I think we've seen it here before for sure. Maybe a little bit left in the last round, but... 
for heretics, it means that while they think they're robbing KC of information, they're absolutely not. KC are a step ahead. They know what control they've given up. And now they know this player's in And then we have to do a retake. Alarm bell starts to ring. I tell you it's what, clearly though. A B hit, but they're trading Magnum low. Tamazi down. They might have to worried, use some ults. Just saw thrash pulled into the arm of yeah, and I think you got to keep this one safe. Clear out market completely. And then the sheriffs are on the best at spamming this. They need to be quick if they want to capitalize on that space. And the problem is, if they're quick, they might just run into mini boo. Plan still not found. A couple of seconds left to get this done. Mosh pit burned out. Oh good man, kill I'm telling you. He doesn't know there's a player up <gasps> top. Holy, yeah, we're, dude, we're popping the ult still. This is a win for heretics. They got double ult out of them. How much damage can Benji fish Whoa. Get away with? But it's almost all of them. The time is the only thing that saves KC. Oh my, how? What the hell was this shot? End, nice damage the from them. Dude, nice damage. Double all, all right, out there should be pumped. It should be so pumped. What the hell is that? Wait, did he get a double dink as well? Did he dink one of the others there? Two pretty high impact ults, so I, I feel like KC may be feeling the pressure a little bit in that one, but even still, they keep the four round streak going. Both teams now and I think this is a this is a good it's a heretic timeout, right? Yeah, this is a good timeout from them because they realized that they did so much damage. They got the ults out of them like they kind of wanted to. Defensive halves. That said, though, that Hunter's Fury has been online for a while. I'm still yet to see that true mini boo round. I, I, it's coming eventually. I don't know when, but he always seems to have at least one. I think as well, though, looking at KC, you can think on their attack, there's always going to be that round that is the light at the end of the tunnel. Being able to farm up those ultimates, play a, a super high impact. You've got your Viper's Pit, you've got your Showstopper, you've got Thrash. Those things can be so impactful if dumped into a round. For Team Heretics, it's not as easy to find that value. We saw Patatex ultimate, you know, it relies on them not and we look over towards Heretics, and they have two good ults. We got, I mean, this is a good ult, but it's just situational. Tamazi can use his ult, so they could potentially have a, just a set Viper strat that they like to do. Set set up. Heretics definitely talked about the camera, and then we go back to this camera. <laughs> Dude, the mind games are literally here. It's so sick. Even just the camera mind games on their own, it's so funny. And because the shock hasn't been hitting this, you imagine they're not going to use it. I tell you what, though, that I do like. They, they do an aggro trip through the pit. I like yeah, this is nice. Aggro trip, trip so you know that they're just in this little area, and they're probably going to spam this at one point. Know if somebody's pushed that yeah. far forward. The thing is, the other and then now, okay, play. he finds the trip, now, and then now yeah. what? Now they are in that Dude, look at this guy. Look at Magnum. Magnum. He cannot be feeling comfortable. Being in this position, but they have yeah, he's got to fall back. Because for him, he has no idea that everyone's walked over towards side. He sticks it out in the middle. In the minds of their opponent. Lahum, by the way, thanks well, so much, bro. Appreciate that. it. Yeah. Thanks for the 18 months. No longer got Magnum in the pit covering the back. Said he's falling back, checking his cam, seeing there's no one on B. But hey, that was nice. Recon goes in wall as well, so he can shoot through the wall. EP goes. We've seen these retakes, though. These retakes are good. The thing to kind of mess this one up, though, is the Sova ult. And when do we pop the Sova ult? And is he ever... Okay. Yeah, look at it. Oh, damn, bro. Yeah, and he knows that they go so heavy over towards here. Oh, man. Big two on two. Got a recon. Dude, this recon's massive. No one has to check. He can just recon. Oh, dude, I'm telling you, the recon. Huge ult. Huge, huge ult. Yeah, when you look at their retakes, right, they just go real heavy over towards shore, but then they don't have many people over towards spawn. So once he realizes they're going out, he goes side, and he has a really good angle to get multiple of them. Like it's so thin over really towards there. <laughs> Little bit less. I, I feel like it was better. That was a great strat. Nice timeout. You think so? Great yeah. use of it. Suit on for the no, also, no, no. I love the trip aggro in into oh, the viper. Yeah, look at it. I mean, just look at this line, right? You just see that line where he is. We'll draw it once we find a minimap that doesn't turn.
And although that was a nice attempt, solid paranoia through from Shin. Like the angles are just there. Quite gonna be enough for them to take this round back. Right this, just straight down this line. It's savage. It Look how thin this, this area is. A break from the scoreboard for Heretics. And even now, you look at the finances. Booze have okay, to go three down chances, Guardian, but it's still going to be hard. Like, it's still going to be rough. The only, the only reason they won this was pretty much because of the server rule, in my opinion. This one, however, this one is looking good. And they have no idea about this luck. And when does this luck go? Does he want to omen ult to create pressure as well? Maybe. Where the hell is that? Benji. He's caught Magnum through a cage. And a big problem now because they're going to be so focused on pushing forward on dealing with One person on site, but this this is it. Patty. Patty tech on this one. Get the lurk on the go. No one's expecting this. They smoke themselves off so they can spam. It could have massive impact. If they can just run it down, it's already halfway. Wait, Wingman's doing it. Oh, okay. Wingman's out. Yeah, he's got to let himself know. It's so low. It's done. Huge. Huge from the boys. Oh, impressive, man. Really cool first map. Really, really cool. There's, some, there's so much thought going on between a lot of these rounds as well. And yeah, this is what I thought. I thought this. I thought this comp might get anti a little bit. Um, but it's even. I tell you what. Even though they knew, even though Heretics knew what they were going to be doing on defense, still looked a little bit hard for them. And yeah, we're still seeing that B main plant over towards the stairs just look crazy strong. Teams, it's so strong at spamming. Teams are smoking themselves off. Like it, that's that's not a good sign. Maybe uh, maybe the map gets changed at one point. We'll see.